Hello and welcome to my review of Monday Night Raw, 15th of August 2016. Okay, so a lot of things happened tonight on this this past Raw. Uh, there was many stuff going on. I mean, compared to last week, I mean, last week was a bit of a lackluster sort of show. Uh, no Brock Lesnar, no Sami Zayn. Um, there, there was a lot of shine on Rusev and Cesaro because the main event was a US title match. But still, most of that spotlight was mostly on reigns because of their match with rusev but i do apologize for my voice it's a little bit weird but anyway raw opened with seth Rollins calling out um the demon king finn balor in a parking parking lot and Rollins tells us that we're six days away um i'm gonna try to make this review quick as possible but he calls for demon king to face him now but if nothing happens and Rollins is heading into the arena to call out Demon King himself and find him. So Lana and Rusev open the show. They refuse to leave the ring, and he says that Reigns ruined the greatest moment of their life last week, and there will be no raw unless Reigns apologizes. Pretty much Foley and Stephanie come out to calm down Rusev. This leads to Reigns coming out and um, pretty much saying that he's done. He says that he uh, got the opportunity to um, pretty much uh face rusev and so this leads to mcfoley coming up with a match for the main event rusev versus roman reigns tonight on raw in the defense of lana um which is sort of bizarre because we're six days away from the pay-per-view and we're already getting a match for the u.s title but not for the u.s title but just a non-title match but still you know it's a big deal so uh, we got something to look forward to for Raw. I mean, it's not that bad, to be honest. Another highlight of the Raw was Brock Lesnar uh, came back. And then he pretty much was about to speak until Heath Slater came out, interrupted Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar and said that he is the hottest free agent, just like that, blah, blah, blah. We get the whole picture. Heath Slater comes out in the ring, interrupts someone and gets beaten the crap out of. We get it. It's getting a bit old. But if, but if it's with Brock Lesnar... Well, then it's not too bad because Brock Lesnar is the box office sensation. He pretty much saves the entire Raw. F5s, suplexes, Heath Slater. He pretty much talks as he as well. He talks about Heath, Heath Slater's kids. There was a lot of sympathy, sympathy for him. I was thinking, you know, this is a bit weird. It's Brock Lesnar. He's the beast incarnate. Why would he say this stuff? But still, Brock Lesnar says he does not give a damn about his kids and beats the absolute crap out of Heath Slater as expected so uh, that was pretty cool and then pretty much paul Heyman does an amazing mics he ha uses his amazing mic skills to promote SummerSlam, gets people excited about it the crowd wasn't i don't know about the crowd tonight it wasn't as enthusiastic as i as i expected it to be you know it's not the attitude ever anymore so uh i guess that's it but there, there you go. Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar have done their job and that was it. Sheamus versus Sami Zayn was also a pretty uh, interesting match with Cesaro uh, interrupting and uh, Sami Zayn kicking the hell of a kick for a win. And uh, there we go. That was the match as well. Uh, another match, well, another highlight, I would say, um, wasn't, to be honest, this Raw. I mean, now that I think about it, this Raw did not really have that much that I expected it to be. But still, it was a much better Raw than last week. We have uh, Big Cass versus Kevin Owens. This was a very entertaining match with Chris Jericho, especially. I mean, pretty much Big Cass won by just DQ after the match. Jericho and Owens beat down Cass and pretty much hype up the entire um tag team match this sunday backstage backstage by the way was rusev attacking reigns crushing reigns against the garage door and then picking up reigns and trying to put him through the catering table but it doesn't break so that was an epic fail there agents and referees separate the two of them for tonight's main event so there we go that was a bit of a hyping up bit of a backstage brawl between uh reigns and rusev and um there we go and then we have the in-ring segment, the in in uh, the in-ring segment between between Seth Rollins. It was just Seth Rollins in in the ring calling out the Demon King, thinking. I mean, he thought that the entire universe, the entire roster, was thinking that he's scared of Finn Balor, and he was very insulted by that. So then, um, 
thinking that he is looking for Demon King. He has not found him. There is nothing that no one can stop him from becoming the first champion. He was doing a good promo, uh, better than last week. I think last week was absolutely awful. Uh, he pretty much laughs and nothing happens, thinking that D Demon King is going to come to the ring right now, thinking he is scared of Seth Rollins. Um, a fan actually gets into the gets into the ring and he is tackled by the guard and then um Rollins sort of does a great improvisation actually sort of uses the fan thinking oh yeah he's demon demon king you know let's just use that so that was pretty good uh very entertaining i thought that was great i'd still love his laugh though that was that was something good the lights go out and Balor's demon music starts to play i think that was it was absolutely amazing except for the crowd the crowd was absolutely crap but demon balor comes out on the stage eventually gets into the ring i had i had no problem actually going through the entire entrance i thought it was absolutely epic rollins back in the ring takes a swing at balor balor hits rollins with the um with the kick and then balor goes in for the coup de gras and then rollins moves out out of the way i was very scared for rollins because i thought he had hit his head i mean that impact was very severe so that was uh quite um quite scary moment that was but great segment i thought it was good i just i just don't know if they're debuting the demon character a bit too early a bit too early i'm not sure i was i was hoping for him to do uh debut this sunday just for some more excitement um but there we go that's it's that's that's that charlotte versus alicia fox this was a this was a big squash match to be honest i think fox sitting on top rope charlotte grabbing fox's leg and then pulling her to top rope hits the natural selection for the pinfall. I mean, there you go. Charlotte, absolutely dominant after that. So there you go. Um, and then we have the main event, Rusev versus Roman Reigns. A good, decent match, I thought this was. I mean, Roman Reigns uh, had a bit of a re repetitive sort of moveset, but still very good. Um, shaved his beard, actually. No, not anymore a full beard. Quite interesting. Maybe not a heel, not maybe thinking of turning heel uh anytime soon bit of a shame but uh there yeah, that that is what it is but reigns picks up the victory uh i was thinking that rusev was going to win this match perhaps by a submission uh just to make him look more dominant as he is the champion but rusev no sorry actually rusev goes to the well one too many times and then misses a diving headbutt and then reigns Clotheslines Rusev over the top rope. It was a it was a very long match as well, to be honest. Um, but I'm quite looking forward to the match at SummerSlam. But there we go. So Reigns picks up the victory by a spear, um, a running spear actually. Both of them were running uh, around the ring, and then Reigns hits the spear for the win. Lana's absolutely disappointed with Reigns, and he's looking towards the U.S. title. So there we go. That was Raw. Uh, not a great show, but not. A bad show either so um I'm, I'm not sure if it's worth watching i would say i think still the raw of the year is definitely finn Balor's debut uh the official ep episode of the new era that was a great show loved it so um <clears throat> there we go so raw 15th of august 2016 actually today is 16th of august the fifth the fifth year anniversary of my channel yeah i've been doing this for five years actually that is weird. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Uh, like, rate, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace.